Alrighty guys, Captain Scott here this morning. I get a lot of questions, you know, they say, Scott, you catch a lot of big fish, what's your secret? Well, today I'm gonna to show you some of my secrets, but the most important thing I wanna show you today is being in the right place at the right time with the right bait. Stay tuned guys, we're gonna run up river, we're gonna locate some fish. I'm gonna show you a place that, on the fish finder that's telling me I'm in the right place, and we're gonna see if we can put some fish in the boat. And I'll share a few other little tips with you as well. Hang tight, let's head up river. Alrighty guys, we've come up here to a place that's a little bit of a water seam. I'm gonna go down so I'll show you what I'm talking about. Got an underwater island here, and you got a little bowl here. And I tell everybody, fishing's like eating. If you're drinking a cup of coffee, you're eating a bowl of cereal, where's all the action? It's, and if you're sipping coffee, it's all gonna be at the rim. Bowl of cereal, it's all gonna be at the rim. So you got a little bowl right here, and this is the rim. So we're gonna ease up through here and uh, see if we mark any fish. It's important to be in the right place. Now we need to figure out if we're in the right time, and the fish finder's gonna tell us that. So let's go over to the 2D sonar. Oh yeah, look right here, we got some cats here. This is probably a big sturgeon, I'm guessing. No, it's a giant blue, a giant blue. Take my cursor right here. Yeah, yeah. Look at the look at the belly on this fish. This is a giant blue right here. You got some log structure here. So there's some big fish in here. I got a little waypoint right here that I want to anchor up on the edge of this bowl. You gotta make sure you're in the right place. Trust your fish finder. It's not gonna lie to you. Even if you've been to places before where you've caught fish, don't just think you're gonna catch fish because you're there. Oh yeah, we're marking some blues in here. Little blue cat right there. I'm gonna ease up here to my waypoint. I came here first because I was here Sunday and we caught some really nice fish. Um, here's a couple of pictures of those fish we caught. So I'm coming right back. I'll ease up here. Oh yeah, look right here, nice fish. Nice big flat blue. Big big fat blue right here on the bottom got some smaller fish so guys that are in here we're in the right place at the right time now we need to see if we can get the right bait in the water so hang tight we're gonna get the anchor out and see if we can put some of these fish in the boat all righty guys we just put our lines down here we got one a pecking on it right here a little blue I believe he's still a pecking on it ain't randy we marking some good fish in here go ahead and reel down on him right see if he's there yeah, there we go. We got one on already. Nothing to him, is he? And we gotta get skunk off sometime, brother. I mean, he is really little. Yeah. Holy yeah, shit. Yeah, little blue right here. Yeah. Nice little blue. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they're feeding. Gonna throw him back in. And, and eat, yeah, it'd been a great, great eater size for cat. All right, we're gonna get a bait out and get this one back in the water. We got anchor fishing here. We're starting to get a few bites. Randy's got one pecking on it here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Reel down 100 mile an hour till you feel fish. You may have to catch up with. It. Keep reeling. Yes. Yeah, you got a fish on. Yeah, he picked that bait and swam towards us. Now you said that the last time we had a little and it got bigger the closer it got to the boat. <laughs> yeah. Huh? <laughs> he's probably wrapped up in a line. Yeah, I told you he's swimming towards the boat, yeah. Yeah, another little another little blue. Yeah. Boy, them good eating size in there. See, he's clean, he ain't been laying in the mud. Yeah. Uh-uh. 
is the size bait we're using. I call these golf ball size skipjack. We just cut some steaks out of the skipjack herring. One of the one of the common mistakes I see people do, they want to put that hook too deep into the bait. So what I want to do is, is just a, I go right underneath that backbone. And then I pull it out. See, I just I just barely got that bait hooked on there. But that's what you want. You want that fish to grab that bait and have that that, that uh, clean hook set. We're going to get it back out and see if we can get a fish back in the He's moving the boat. <laughs> yeah, he is doing it. Yeah. He's not blowing up. He growing on you? We had one the other day. It just kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. Closer it got to the boat. Don't know. He ain't nowhere near the boat. He's trying to be put out still. Oh, yeah, he's a nice fish. He was biting like one, and he's still swimming like one. So, yeah, I'm going to say big flathead. What do you say, Bob? Yeah, see, he's swimming up river. I don't think he knows he's hooked yet. <laughs> he don't know he's hooked yet, Bob. Size, you pick that baby up. What is he? 35? Easy, he's solid. He's been eating good. Right. Right, hang on a second, Bob. Yeah, we're gonna get a pin here. Here you go. I'll show you a little short video same If you're interested in booking a trip, there's here's a little bit about, about my guide service. Hope you enjoy this little, little video here about the guide service. Call if you got any questions. nice blue on a high fence blue demon dragon we got one hitting that planter board and i'm not so sure he ain't on there randy five ten pounder and it's every once in a while he catches his breath and he pulls back on it again yeah yeah let's see what he does next time he does anything funky we're gonna reel down yeah <laughs> Yeah, the bite's not been great today. We've been around fish. We're, you know, the, the name of this video is the right place at the right time, and we've been at the right places. Um, just the bite's not been great, but boy, we've caught a couple of real nice fish. Caught this giant blue. Uh, we've been drifting, and uh, we are anchor fishing, and now we're dragging planer boards, and and uh, we've had a couple of slammers, but uh, it's we can't complain. It's been a good morning. We use clear boards, is the boards we use. I'll put a link down here. He's acting like he's still trying to hit it now. Watch him, Randy, same. Go reel down on him. Yeah, go ahead and reel down on him. Fish. Fish on. I don't think there's much to him, is it, Randy? Well, of course, it's hard to tell with you. He's not, he's not one of the real little ones. He's not a real big one either. 
Alrighty guys, we've introduced him to planter board fish and he caught his first one, Jeremy, on a planter board. Oh, planter board nice. fish. Yeah. You drag baits behind the boat in the river, you wouldn't go five feet and you'd have them all hung. Blue Demon Dragon with a dragon stick and a planter board. And uh, there's that. Yeah, there's you. Ah, he's biting down on me. Yeah, he's a biter. We, I've, I've been using some of them dragon tails to drag too. Got a big home, Jeremy. Hammer that back rod. Guys, I got the camera going too, Jeremy. We were getting no bass dragging. I said, Randy, we're going to get a big in here. Just watch. Got to get him in. <laughs> yeah, it's a good fish, guys. We was just, you know, we changed our techniques this morning. We came down here and marked some fish. The bite's been kind of slow this morning, but we're in the right place. Alrighty guys, we're getting ready to wrap it up for the day. We came down here, we found some good fish, we marked them, we used a variety of techniques and it's one thing you can't do, you can't come down here and say, hey, this is how I'm going to fish. You have to fish the conditions. Earlier we was in a big uh, stump bed and we were drift fishing and we anchor fish, we caught some fish. But we come down here, we're on a big flat as you can see behind us, we caught these real nice fish here on this flat. But we're drifting and dragging here, using planer boards and uh, two rods out the back. But anyway guys, Make sure you like, comment, and uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel. And uh, tight lines, if you got any questions, you can call me. Here's my phone number. If you would like to send me an email, here's my email address. But tight lines, guys. <laughs>